Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful and very creative four step infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see the options are popping up and then the, the titles are coming. This is option one, the title with icons, title two, option three and option four. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the grid lines. Go to insert, select shapes and a rectangle. I'm drawing the rectangle in the three grid lines. You can see that one, one, two and three. Make it no outline. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Add it just next to the rectangle. And I'm just going to increase the size by one more grid line there. Do the similar for third. Just increase the size by one more grid line. And for fourth as well. I'm going to change the background of the slide. Use any gradient fill color, any good colors. And this one, I'm just making it a gradient with a light colors, white and gray colors. Otherwise, it's blending with the background. So you have to be very careful while choosing the colors. And just using the format painter, you can just do for the remaining four. I'm going to give some shadow effect, select all the rectangles, go to shadow, under preset, select offset left, and distance you make it to eight, and blur make it to 27 or 28 points go to insert shape select a rounded corner rectangle and using the pointer the small one that are orange one just drag it towards the inside and then you can just see this object is there now Make it no outline and put it exactly in the center of the rectangle. Then copy and paste this rectangle, the rounded corner rectangle and the above rectangles, the other rectangles. Make sure that it is uh, center aligned for each rectangle now i'm just setting the rectangle and then the rounded rectangle under format merge shapes say subtract i'm just cutting that area just repeat the same thing for the other rectangles the third is not properly aligned so I'm just press ctrl Z I'm aligning properly and for the last as well subtract it go to insert shapes select the rounded corner once again make it somewhat big because this is the one which will pop up make it no outlines and give some different colors use always the complementary colors 
and I'm just giving the option as 01 option the text I'm using here adding here make it center align and make it the white font I'm using the font Oswald and bring it exactly in the center and maybe the font size you can increase to 20 and for this also I'm just going to give the same offset top the shadow effect make the distance 8 and then the blur 28 points align it in the top select both the text as well as the rectangle rounded corner rectangle and and group it press ctrl d to duplicate and copy and paste to the other rectangles as well i'm going to change the color go to format pick some nice color maybe pink for this i may use this purple and this one will be somewhat a kind of a green and just make option 2, option 3 and option 4 then select all the rounded corner rectangles and say send to back now go to insert shapes select a rectangle and draw the rectangle at the bottom of the, the rectangle which we have already added there the option one give the same color of the options which we have used press ctrl d and just add just above of the the first one and give the same color press ctrl d change to purple and the pen control D and the green color just zoom in to align properly and go to insert shapes select a right rectangle sorry a triangle zoom further and increase the size of this the pink rectangle and for the right triangle also give the same color or just some more dark color of that go to rotate rotate 90 degrees one more time you need to rotate to horizontal align it now I'm just going to copy this right triangle to the other places Control D and bring it here and give the dark color of the purple and the dark shade of the green now I'm just going to group these objects the right triangle and the rectangle group it and just repeat the same thing for the others as well and give the same 
shadow effects which is the distance of 7 and the blur to 28. I cannot use the format painter here because it will change the color also. So for that I'm just doing one by one. And for the last we don't need to do that. I have just I'm just going to add some icons which I have downloaded from the nounproject.com. You can download it free from there and use it in your presentation. So I'm just copying the fonts here. I'm just uh, removing the grid lines. Add the text there, which is the title, which is uh, for the option, subtitle for the option one. And bring it here. And you can add the text which is I'm just typing a uh, equals L O R E M within brackets one so it will give me some Latin text. And bring it at the bottom of the slide and thread this both the text and group it and press ctrl D and you can copy and paste to the other options. So option 3 and option 4. Now I'm going to copy the text, the rectangle and the icons together and grouping it. Right mouse click group or control G to group. Make sure that you don't select some other text or object and group it. Otherwise, uh, it will have a problem while doing the animation. All right. So it's time to do the animation. Go to animation, enable the animation pane. Select the option first. And I'm just using the fly in. Double click the animation effect and go to say medium and then you can just play with these options bounce end and smooth start all right and then i'm using a wipe effect for this maybe wipe from left and this one you have to make it wipe from left and after previous Now using the animation painter, I'm just going to copy the animation effect for my other objects. This way you will save the time when you're doing the animation. Always use animation painter. This is a very good feature of PowerPoint. Alright, we are done with the animations now. 
So let's see how it looks like. Option one, the titles, option two, option three, and option four. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.